This is so important. It says, why men are so important to the pro-life fight. It has been said to no end that men do not have a right to speak about abortion slash pro-life because it's a woman's issue. This is just another lie the world spews out, hoping to confound and stop the work of the Lord. I am so godly proud and truly humbled at the generosity and um, the encouragement of the men's department concerning life. You always come through in a big way. Our latest mom and baby, our latest, our latest one that will happen. Not first, our latest. And, and she gives their name, are very thankful for the many blessings that you have given. She has received your encouragement at a time when she could easily view men in a harsh light. Mom is fighting to get back to life with her new baby, but her body is not recovered from giving birth. Thursday, she received the news that she must go through surgery. On Thursday night, the men's department sent Target gift, gift cards and I purchased uh, for the, the people uh, new diapers and, and things that she needed. That simple act of kindness let us know that she had, let her know that she has a new family that she can count on. Number one, men are imperative to the fight for life because they are protectors. Women need to be protected spiritually, physically, emotionally, and so on. The strength of the upper room men's department shows showed in your ability to lift heavy boxes as well as to anticipate lifting heavy burdens. Secondly, men are imperative to the fight for life because of their ability to provide. Women who find themselves in crisis pregnancies simply need help. She names a mother, says she, she worked 60 to 70 hours until she gave birth trying to provide for herself and her baby. Thank you for your monetary gifts that help support and provide stability. Thirdly, men are imperative to the fight for life because they are fathers. God's plan include a man and a woman. There is no procreation without men. And, 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 and the writer put an exclamation point right there. Say amen. Men do care about women and children. There are so many more things that I could say, but I will have to stop here and to say thank you. May the Lord continue to bless you one by one and all together in Jesus' name. Evangelist Leslie Monet. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elder Wilson. Thank you to the men's department. Let's give our men a big hand. Amen. Amen.